Right. They look kind of horrendous. Mm. Oh, that's amazing. Hey, welcome back. I'm Oscar from Off to Work. We have another video today where we're going to be experimenting with fat washing. Sounds delicious. Fat washing is a infusion technique where you add certain fats to spirits to impart flavor on them without changing the color. Firstly is bacon. So we're going to infuse bacon fat with our bourbon. I ate all the bacon, so there's none here to show. The second is Biscoff cookie butter. We're gonna also be adding that to bourbon. I'm gonna do a bit of a taste test at the end and show you through the process. Let's get going. So firstly, we're gonna go for our bacon and bourbon fat wash. We're gonna pour about 250 mils. You can pour as much as you want, depending on how much you want to pre-batch. Here we got literally just cooked down a, about a pack, about 10 rashes of bacon and drained off all the fat. I'm gonna give it a stir. Already started to clump up. So I'm gonna leave this in the fridge, cover it up and leave it in the fridge for around 24 hours. And hopefully that resting period should really dissolve all that fat and, and leave you with a lot of flavor left in the spirit. Okay, so next, we are going to fat wash with Biscoff cookie butter, um, which is vegan. So for this one, we're also going to put 250 ml of our bourbon in. And we want about a 10 to one ratio. So we're gonna put about 25 mils of this. It's an experiment, guys. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna stir it in. Already, it doesn't look great, but nor does our bacon one, to be quite honest. We're going to leave this out of the fridge, probably for about 12 hours, and then we're going to put it in the fridge overnight, hoping to see how it's this cloudy color. We're hoping that when we chill this, the fats um, solidify and we can strain them out. I doubt it's going to come out clear um, compared to this, which does have some cloudiness to it, but the fat is, um, is solid. Our drinks have been resting, extracting all the juicy flavors. They look kind of horrendous. Firstly, we have our bacon wash. It smells amazing. It smells super sweet, maple syrupy, um, and there's been no sugar added. What we're gonna do is strain each of these. With the Biscoff one, I left it at room temperature for about seven, eight hours, and I strained that one time, and then I placed it into the fridge. Color is quite cloudy, looks a bit like a consomme, but compared to what it was like before, also smells beautiful. You always want to wet your filter paper before. It just helps remove papery taste that you can get if you, if you don't. And we're just gonna pour these through. And be careful of pouring too much because they can split if you overdo it. And definitely don't meddle around with a spoon or anything to get it working quicker because you'll definitely split the paper. Mmm. Next, we're going to strain our Biscoff wash. Once again, with the wet papers. Make sure it doesn't fold in on itself. Okay, we are ready to taste test. I'm gonna discard of these. Oh, smells amazing. Caramelly. So let me taste this first. When tasting spirits, Unlike wine, you don't swill it around. If you swill a spirit around, you just release alcohol and all you smell is pure alcohol, which would burn the inside of your nose. So we don't swill. On the nose, I get Biscoff, Biscoff cookies. That is super good. The caramel notes, roasted flavors, and like, I don't know, toffees that have been put over a bonfire. Next, bacon. Mm. That is very interesting. Very salty, way less sweet. It's really nice. 
I had to pick preference, it's probably got to be the Biscoff. That's because of the sweetness of it. You get the sweetness, but the strength is still there. Really int interesting thing has happened with the Biscoff. As we've added water, it's done, it's a process called louching, where the, the water, water and alcohol, they, they have a, quite a volatile reaction and it can cause lipids and oils to release from the spirit. You can see that with some gins like Monarchy 47 or Pastis, for, for, for example. But this seems to have happened here where we've got so much oils that have been bound to, to alcohol molecules with added water they've released and it's become cloudy. Interesting. Hello everyone, I'm Robert Person, Managing Director of Off to Work here for London in the South East. I am a huge whiskey fan. Having the amazing pleasure of doing a blind tasting. Uh, whiskey sour is my favorite uh, cocktail and uh, so what do I do? I just dig in? Yeah. Do I take the whole thing? Right. It's 11 here in the office, but it's uh, drinking time somewhere in the world. Cheers. Oh, that's amazing. It reminds me strangely of the whiskey sour, but maybe I'm drawn to, to that. It's um, warm, but Summary at the same time. I could drink that literally forever and ever. So that was number one. The orange peel. <laughs> I think I know which one this one is. I get a smoky flavor, much more smoky, um, but it's balanced brilliantly by the orange, um, who again makes it summery and fresh. Uh, lighter. If I had to choose one of the two, I have to try them both again. I think they're both delicious, but I would go with the Biscoff version on this occasion. Spectacularly delicious. We have a unanimous winner. Not that it was a com competition. Biscoff, amazing. I wasn't really sure how well it was going to work. It tasted great. It was really sweet. It's not really conventional. Um, it did take a little bit more prep because you have to strain it twice. So if I did it again, I would put the Biscoff in first add the whiskey incrementally, make it into a paste. I wouldn't really want to serve up an old fashioned that looked cloudy, to be honest. But then if you're making it into a cocktail where you've got other ingredients and the kind of transparency of the cocktail isn't a factor, lovely, lovely on its own as well. Um, bacon, really cool, really interesting. It gives it quite a, like a umami flavor because there's not too much sweetness added, but you get that saltiness, that savoriness. There is lots of amazing combinations you can try. I've had a cocktail with pisco washed with olive oil, macadamia butter, almond butter, peanut butter. I'm sure people have come up with other ingenious. Wonder about Nutella, that's quite intriguing. Maybe that'll be the next video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We do have other cocktail tutorials on our channel. If you are interested, check them out. We've got a really cool one on milk washing if you're interested in doing that. We will be doing more experiments. If you have a request, pop it in the comments. If you have any questions about this video, let us know. Uh, and until the next time, ciao.